frogs. Who doesn't like those weird little green things? Am I right? I mean, come on, who's in, who doesn't like frogs? Seriously, anybody? Now listen up gamers, before we start getting into things, it is of dire importance that I go ahead and clarify that toads are not frogs. They are completely different things and I really shouldn't even have to say this, but there will be no toad man, no battle toads, no final fantasy stats toad, none of that crap. I don't want to hear any comments asking about why I didn't include some sort of toad and if I do see a comment like that, you are insta banned, buster. Starting off this list, we have one of the more well-known frogs being Greninja. I know Froki looks more like the ideal image of a frog, but Greninja is a lot cooler and also still a frog, so of course I'm going to pick the Ninja Frog over the regular frog. When it comes to Ninja Frogs, I did of course originally think about Jiraiya the Toad Sage, but of course those guys are all freaking toads. But yeah, Greninja is a really cool frog. I don't like how his reveal trailer in Smash 4 made it seem like he was going to be Mewtwo, but Sakurai did end up adding Mewtwo later, so I guess that can be forgiven. The reason Greninja is only number 10 on this list though is because of that thing around his neck being his tongue? That's gross. For number 9, we have one of the more obscure frogs on this list from the classic game Blaster Master on the NES. The frog in question? Fred! Fred the Frog. Now this guy isn't really well known or famous even in the Blaster Master community, but you know what? I think he's kinda cute. This guy is an evil boss you are required to murder in order to beat the game, which means canonically this guy is dead, but I mean, whatever, who cares? Coming in at number 8, we have the best animated frogs on this entire list being Ribby and Croaks from Cuphead. In terms of boss fights, these guys are actually really easy, especially as far as Cuphead bosses go, but as far as the average frog goes, I'd say these guys are in the big leagues. Not only do they have some dangerous projectiles, but their boxing form makes it seem like they could even give KSI a run for his money. Also, I know this is technically two frogs, so I guess I'll pick Ribby as the number 8 spot because Croaks is just a little bit too on the nose for the face of these poor frogs. Number 7 is the Minecraft Frogs, the best addition to Minecraft since sliced bread. Coming in at number 6, we have the Camo Frog from Animal Crossing. Now, when it comes to Animal Crossing villagers, there are several frogs, but none of them are as cool looking as Camo Frog. Also, no, he is not invisible, guys. Please look a little bit harder before you just say something so silly. A lot of Animal Crossing villagers are actually extremely hideous, which I will make a video covering in the future, but this is one of the few that doesn't give me a migraine at first glance. It could technically be possible that this is a toad in disguise as a frog, since in all honesty, we do not have much intel on Camo Frog, but because there is no proof against the man, I think it would be slanderous to claim this guy is a toad, so I don't want to hear any arguing about this in the comments, alright? He's a frog, his name is Camo Frog for crying out loud, I don't care how convenient that is. It's his name. Now, those frogs we just took a look at are certainly fine specimens of video gaming nature, but compared to the frogs we're about to look at, those frogs? <laughs> man, aw oh, man. Don't even get me started on those stupid frogs. Coming in at lucky number 5 is a fan favorite frog, Froggy from Sonic Adventure. Now to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know too much about this frog other than the fact that Big the Cat chases it around or something and uh, it's green. But I do know Froggy is close to a lot of people's hearts and especially the Sonic community so I couldn't leave this little guy outside of the top 5. In terms of fighting abilities, I must say this frog is probably a weakling even in comparison to the average frog but luckily for Froggy, I haven't really been considering fighting ability as a a major factor in this list, but uh, yeah, overall I would say Froggy is definitely a video game frog. Number 4 is a personal favorite of mine being the Flipnote Frog. Now, first of all, the Flipnote Frog has two canonical forms, its original orange form and its more powerful Flipnote Hatina green form. Now, the green form is only whipped out when the Flipnote Frog connects to the World Wide Web and links the creative prowess of every single Flipnote user in the universe, but the orange frog is its more stable form, reserved and meant to guide a single person through their creative struggles. Of course, for this entry, the green form is going to be what I 
I choose, not only because of the raw power difference, but also because frogs in real life are usually green, so I think it's more accurate to the real life canon. Unfortunately, I do not know the name of this frog, which is why I keep referring to it as the Flipnote Frog, but if any of you viewers watching are friends with this guy or know this guy in real life, please tell me their name because I want to be able to refer to this guy correctly from now on instead of just calling him a frog. You know, it's kind of rude, right? I mean, I wouldn't know. I'm not a frog. At number three, we have probably the most iconic video game frog of all time, being the Homie Frogger. Now, I actually have played tons of hours of Frogger because my grandma has this mini arcade thing of Frogger, and don't ask why, but I spent entirely too much time playing that specific version of Frogger. But of course, this is not my only exposure to the Frogger franchise, as I've also regrettably played the horrible GameCube platformer game, but let's continue to pretend that doesn't exist. The original Frogger seems to be the least talked about popular retro game in existence and I will never understand why because I mean you just gotta help Frogger cross the dang road and go home without getting brutally murdered by the cars. It's a cool concept. So with that being said it may be true that I'm a little bit biased and maybe even a Frogger fanboy but I'd go as far as to say Frogger is probably one of the most underrated arcade games at least in this day and age which is why the homie Frogger is number three on this list. Number two is another personal favorite frog being Froggit from Undertale. Now this frog may have the most personality of any frog on the list thus far and it's entirely because he is a frog and not because he's from Undertale. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Come on, this is the internet. People can't lie on the internet. There is a much more powerful version of Froggit called Final Froggit, which makes several appearances in the core section of the game as well as the hard mode thing, but this guy doesn't have the same charm as regular Froggit, so we're going with regular Froggit for number two. One of my favorite parts about Froggit is the text saying that Froggit doesn't really know why it's here because I find that sentence very relatable. I could go on forever about how awesome this guy is, but I'll just say one last thing, which is that even his attack contains another mini frog which you can make friends with. This is another rare two for one entry but because we have zero intel on the mini frog and we don't even know for sure if what goes on inside the attack box is canon we cannot confirm that there are actually multiple frogs because it could always just be frog it from another angle or you know just not canon so let's let's just ignore all that. Regardless I love frog it and you should too. Now, ladies and gentlemen and non-binaries and everyone else, it's time for the number one frog in all of video gaming to finally make a reveal. And that frog is... Of course, Crazy Frog. Oh yeah, baby. Crazy Frog strikes again. He can't lose. He can't lose. Undefeatable Crazy Frog. Crazy Frog is obviously the most powerful frog of all time and cannot be beaten or tamed under any circumstances. Now, some of the more uneducated viewers watching this video may be thinking, hmm, but Crazy Frog isn't from a video game. But that's where you're wrong, uneducated viewer. Not only does Crazy Frog have his own racing game, but he actually has more than one meaning this guy is actually a video gaming icon. Anyone who thinks Crazy Frog doesn't deserve to be on this list is an uncultured swine who needs to be kicked in the freaking balls regardless of whether or not they have any. Anyway, I love Crazy Frog, you love Crazy Frog, really we all saw this coming before the video even started, right? Well, that concludes the top 10 frogs in gaming. I appreciate you guys sticking around for the whole video, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, for those of you wondering why I would make such a controversial video like this, uh, honestly, sometimes you just gotta go frogs out, you know what I mean? Oh,